Hello, New York, and hello, hello, California. This is your edition. Welcome to Boxed 7.0, an all American edition featuring five artists from two great states, California and New York. Now, how did this happen? After all, we didn't set out to have a special country edition. By the time Box concludes with eight editions, we would have already covered nine countries, 25 cities, and 40 artists. But besides India, the maximum number of submissions we received for Boxed was from America. And if we count today's five, we would have presented eight artists from the great United States. Well, as Boxed gained momentum, we were seized with an idea of why not invite a guest curator to choose artists from a particular geographical area. So we reached out to the ever enthusiastic Archana Raja, a former Chennaiite who now lives in Mountain View, California. Archana, you would have seen in the very first edition of Boxed as she was negotiating a doorway. Well, we shared our idea with her and she seized it with great enthusiasm. She first contacted a dancer she knew who then suggested another dancer and that's how it developed. A third she was following on Instagram and then reached out. So that's how this edition came about. What we have is a great variety. Bharatanatyam, contemporary Kathak, Kuchipudi, spoken word. Dancers have moved out of their homes, some of them, as if they have heard the call of California choreographer Alonzo King, who told his dancers, we cannot stand still, and told them to go forth towards the water and the forests. So here we have Parul Shah, Sophia Salingaros, Jivika Bhatt, Rohit Shankar Raman, and Pranamya Suri, each with their two minute submissions charged with very interesting scores, each of these five performers bring a distinct energy to this boxed edition. Here I want to make a special note. Pranamya Suri has explored a rarely discussed but deeply felt emotion. What is it like to be a frontline medical worker fighting to save a life and then be confronted with pain and loss? The dejection, the depression that is tearing through hospitals across the world is an emotion that Dr. Pranamya Suri, dancer and MD, explores very bravely. Today, expert comments are by Dr. Ketu Katrak, professor of drama from the University of California, Irvine. Ketu is a dear colleague, and we have collaborated on two dynamic conferences that I convened in Chennai, Epic Women and Mad and Divine. Ketu has also written a book called Contemporary Indian Dance, and she was a Bharatanatyam student of Medha Yod, who was a direct disciple of the legendary Bala Saraswati. We look forward to her comments. Here is Box 7.0.
When I was asked to express my feelings about being a dancer in quarantine and how quarantine had affected my dance, the first thing that came to mind was how similar it was to long road trips when I was younger. I would always ask my parents, are we there yet, are we there yet, and no matter how long we had been traveling, it always seemed like there was still two more hours. Shelter in place was just supposed to be until the end of March, but now in June it feels like they just keep extending it. Two more weeks, two more hours, two more hours, and with no end in sight, I'm resorting to the same tactics that I did as a child. To retreat into my dreams, and wonder about the possibilities of the world outside, and what it used to feel like before I was boxed in. Namaste. I have chosen to interpret the theme boxed within my limited presentation in three ways. First, the physical, choosing a very claustrophobic, confined space to represent how we are all locked down in our, in our own homes, unable to leave. Second, the boxed identity, where I brought in the mirror element in my choreography, how we are in ways boxed in by our idea of our own identity and the way that others see us as well. Thirdly, the dance form itself, how all art forms right now are boxed in and unable to perform live. I try to simplify Bharat Natyam to some of the core body positions and try to utilize just the first hasta of Pataka to explore how even at its most simple squeezed out form, Bharat Natyam is still a true art form and a language vocabulary to utilize for expression. Thank you. There is more to a prison than the walls of metal and brick. Sometimes they are self-made more than they are man. Put up by my own two hands pretending there is safety in solitude when all it has produced was fear. I feel trapped whether inside my mind or my body. I need a piece of reality to touch me, to remind my feet how to stand and what it meant to feel music on my skin. This is how I shake down the foundation and find the light 
between the cracks. Fill in the darkness I let slip in and drown it out in dance. The ocean teaches me to never stop pushing. I may not be able to move the earth, but I can crash into it and smooth out even the roughest of my edges. I want to be more like water, fluid in the way I move, feel and think. Because it's only when I'm trapped on land do I feel like I'm drowning. In response to um, the past three months of quarantine, I felt um, it was imperative for me to show this work in a place that has become my own personal refuge. Uh, I live in Brooklyn, New York, and fortunately for us uh, over here, our parks have remained open and have become a place for people to breathe. Throughout this pandemic, I feel I have connected to and become more aware of my soundscape. Um, unfortunately, it is the sounds of ambulances and sirens uh, throughout the, the day and night. Um, but also there were moments where, uh, a period of time, where it felt like um, the sounds of nature were coming to life, particularly the sounds of birds. And perhaps a moment I believe that maybe we could find a new connection to our environment. Uh, in the wake of our situation right now, in the wake of the protests, um, I needed to shift the way that I see that I'm looking at this work if I wanted to be honest to my thoughts and to our current situation. Uh, so in essence, I wanted to capture uh, not only uh, the soundscapes of um, the helplessness and the desperation uh, that many of us have felt um, on, on such a deep level, but also currently right now, um, the the forefront uh, is this feeling 
of anger and and deep angst, uh, which is being addressed in New York City and other places in the world. So in in this two minute piece, I tried to encapsulate all of these different tumultuous kind of emotions um, in the backdrop of my peaceful, my peaceful park. doctors I did experience the loss the tragic loss of a patient and boxed and this project was a reflection of the um, internal battle that you face when you lose a patient that is often not displayed externally and it's interesting to me that the actual prevalence rate of the physician's reaction to grief in response to a patient's death is unknown, which probably means that this is a battle that is not just within me, it's probably within several of the healthcare workers as well. And art is a way to cope. It is a way to break down those barriers within yourself and it's a way to overcome. And taking part in this project really opened my eyes and made me value dance even more. Congratulations to Anita for her creative concept of Boxed. Thank you, Anita, for inviting me to share my comments on Box 7.0. I congratulate the five U.S. artists, Jivika Bhatt, Sophia Salingaros, Rohit Shankaraman, Parul Shah, and Pranamya Suri for their innovative selection of sites, movement vocabularies, stunning camera work, and editing that all leave lasting impressions. I begin with Pranamya Suri's moving choreography, rippling through our consciousness as she brings together her skills as a medical doctor and as a Los Angeles-based Kuchipudi dancer. Inside a hospital ward, Suri's powerful choreographic arc begins quietly, builds to towering anguish, then emotional collapse. In her own words, this is, quote, the performance of an internal battle when a doctor loses a patient, end of quote. Physicians are trained not to depict grief openly, so art offers Suri a way to cope to overcome grief. 
I encourage her to keep dancing. Suri's work reminds me of South African choreographer Jay Pather's words that, quote, art is an essential service for healing, for public health and social responsibility, end of quote. But essential services like healthcare in the U.S. often do not reach all. Hence, more Black people in proportion to their population have died of COVID-19. With the recent pandemic, the U.S. has a centuries-old epidemic of systemic racism, leading currently to nationwide Black Lives Matter protests. So is this a moment or a movement? Connecting the moments and time of lockdown of waiting as significant tropes, California's Jivika Butt, Odissi dancer, creatively connects lockdown time to her childhood experience of road trips, an iconic American tradition, when she asked her parents repeatedly, are we there yet? Butt's choreographic journey is set originally inside a car, evoking California's love affair with cars. We spend a lot of time in our cars and we also pollute. But could push further her movements and emotions inside the car through rage rather than resignation. The next three artists use indoor and outdoor spaces evocatively. Sofia Salingaros in a narrow home entryway stands against a door, her clear body lines in Paratanatyam Nritta with camera dissolves are all appealing. Her use of a framed mirror dancing to her own image conveys isolation. I would suggest exploring claustrophobia in silence without the mirror. Next, Rohit Shankaraman creatively uses spoken word on a sandy beach with the Golden Gate Bridge visible. The sound of the waves and his expressive face show panic. He feels trapped inside his mind and body during lockdown. Nonetheless, the rhythmic waves inspire his metaphor to be like water. Finally, Parul Shah's contemporary Kathak in a green park, a personal refuge for her in Brooklyn, New York, where parks are open. Spaces where people are free to breathe are so important. This pandemic, Shah hopes, teaches humans to respect the environment. Her layered movements are strong, a low back bend with hands fluttering over her heart capture anxiety. Her choreography and words express, quote, her angst and anger at what is happening in US society. Such angst along with art overcomes a bruised and bleeding world, says Toni Morrison, African-American Nobel laureate. Even as we attend to the world's pain, it is also critical, Morrison adds, Quote, to refuse to succumb to its malevolence. Like failure, chaos can lead to knowledge, even wisdom like art. I congratulate all five dancers for their original choreography, powerful soundscapes, and imaginative camera work. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ketu Katrak, for your sensitive comments. By bringing politics and touching upon the idea of social ferment and unrest. Dr. Katrak also makes us question, what is the purpose of the live arts at this time? Today we saw a hospital ward, a park, a beach, a mirror, a car. Each of the five performers enlivened the boxed concept. After all, what is boxed about? Space, time, movement, location, and the idea that across the world during this pandemic, artists are alone together. Tomorrow, Box concludes with an all Australian edition, Boxed 8.0, with guest curators Nitya Nagarajan and Raghav Handa. Tomorrow, they will focus on issues of gender, diversity, pronouns and digital experimentation that takes it to a whole new level as we end on a high note. Expert comments are by Anandavali Lingalayam. Don't forget our special poll and the playlist that we will put out after Box concludes, where you will get to vote for your favorite performer who will be featured in a Best of Boxed series on any weekend in July. But for now, it's goodbye and thank you for watching.